Today, you're going to learn about a workflow that I personally use when building out apps that no one's going to talk about. And the reason no one's going to talk about it is because of the fact that I created the workflow and I use the workflow. And the workflow's name is very simple, main and grunty. Let's jump in. So if you didn't know, or you were living under a rock, right now, agents can run in parallel. What I mean by that is that we can set up workflows where we have multiple agents working on your application at once. When you're in the beginning stages of creating out an app, this can get a lot of fun, right? We could run five or six agents running in parallel at the exact same time, build out a bunch of cool stuff, such as like, yo, I got a new app, build out the landing page, build out the login page, build out the sign up page, all of this. But at a certain point after this massive, like we have five, six agents running at the same time, at a certain point, this becomes ineffective. And the reason this becomes ineffective is because of the fact that as you add more files, as you add more code, things get more complex. Complex. So once we transition from the build, build, build suggestions phase, if you know, if you know, we got to do a different method. And the method I personally like is what I like to call main and grunty. I used to call it main and grunt. And then over on my ex, people were like, no, no, Corbin, don't call it grunt, call it grunty. We're calling it grunty. Also, if you want to follow me on X, description down below, second link. So let me show you this method. How do we cook up and start this method? Well, first off, we got to make sure that the agent knows what's incurring. So what I like to do, and you can start doing this as well, is I will choose a higher level model for main. And what I'm going to do is this. I'm just going to use the simple prompt here of read my entire repo and understand my app. I'm going to switch to ask and shoot it off. I'm going to copy this prompt though. We're going to shoot it off. Also make sure that you have browser mode on, Google Chrome, browser tab, put on browser tab. Make sure you have the application running. Hit new agent here. I'm going to put the exact same command, but we can switch to something like auto. With this, hit enter again. So now we have two different chats here. We got this first one and we got the second one. Some of y'all already know where this is probably going, but let's do it. First one here, we have a higher level model. Therefore, we are going to rename this to main. Enter. Nice. Second one, we have auto. So we use lower level models, but we want to expedite code workflow. So we're going to rename this to grunty. We got main and grunty here. So what do we do, Corbin? Main is where we're going to offshoot a reasoning task or task that I know is going to take a lot more time to complete. Grunty is where we do the very fast stuff. The type of stuff that we could have coded ourselves, but why code when we can just tell it what to do now type of task. So let's do an example of this. Each chat has been preloaded to understand my repo. Now, if you are specifically working on a very specific page, for example, the value page of an app. So this right here, this is a this is thumbio.com, best thumbnail editor in the world. If I was working on this specific page and I'm about to shoot off main, instead of having it having a general idea of the entire app, I don't really care. I wanted to have a very specific idea of everything and all the code that's incurring on this page, my value point. So one way we can do this to make it very easy in our lives is if you've set up routing studio slash SSS, it's a little sandbox, like this situation, I can copy this and I can be like, okay, understand all the code rendered on this page. Hit enter here. And then what it's going to do is going to see all the components rendered here and just understand the code, just get context. And for anyone that's wondering or just found my channel and they're like, what is Thumbio? How did you build this Corbin? Oh, you're in luck. There's a whole playlist dedicated to this. So check it out. I might leave it in the description down below. We're talking 10, 12 episodes by the end of it, hour long episodes. I show you how to genuinely build out an app with zero coding experience. So once I would do something like that, I already know I put a big task here. So here's what I'll do next. All right, so we have a cool little folder system. I'm able to, you know, drag my amazing image here and I can create more projects. This is all cool. But maybe with this folder system, I'm like, you know what? I want to add a little bit of a little bit of color. I want to make it fun. So right now my studio sandbox, I come over here. I'm like, oh, it can change the color palette. Yeah. Oh, change the lead. Nice. I want to change the color of my folder. So to shoot off a task like this, what you can do is screenshot, give context. I'd put it in the chat here and do this. I'm going to do this in a very vibe cody way. You see my folder icon? I want it so that the user can click the icon and change the color of the folder. I'm hit enter. I gave image context. I gave specifically the action I want to incur. I am in ask mode. I'm not in agent mode. And first, let's just come to common ground, me and main. Now, what can happen here is as it's getting context is I can come over to Grunty. And what Grunty can do is I can be looking through my app while I'm waiting for this to be done. And I can find little things. I'm just like, ooh, let's change that. So scrolling down here, I'm like, yeah, this looks good. This looks good. You know what? Actually, let's do this 10 hay bells equals one lead image screenshot and then i give that to grunty and i'm like oh wait wait oh main's done okay so I'm, i don't care about that right now let's go back to main and this is what main says it's like okay summary clicking the folder icon opens a color picker preset colors and custom color input you know what i just want preset colors I don't want it to get too complex. Just let them choose a couple. Let's say six colors. So this is the planning mode. I've done another video on this. You can check it out on this channel, but this is the planning mode where we want to get on the same ground of what we want to accomplish together. So once that's done, okay, we got six colors. This looks good. I'll switch to plan mode and be like, make the plan. While that's going, I jump back over to Grunty and I'm like, you know what? You see these numbers, add a highlight. And then what we're referencing here is 10 and one. Enter, go Grunty, go. Notice with Grunty, I am just straight up in agent mode because I know these are extremely simple tasks that I could have personally done. Done. With main, I am not in agent mode right away because I'm doing more complex workflows. I want to create plans around the workflow. And then I want to hit build. 
Now the agent's running. Now Maine's going to take a couple minutes, five, 10 minutes, maybe shorter, maybe longer. But while Maine is building out very complex workflows, I am over here in Grunty like, hey, we got to get going here. Now, Grunty's being really dumb right now. <laughs> I can't edit images directly. Oh, no, Grunty. So what I'm going to do is uh, instead of auto, we'll wait it up to Sonnet 4.5 and say, try again, Grunty. I know you can do it, Grunty. Maybe Grunty was a little too dumb and it'll know what to do then. I might have to get a little bit more context to Grunty, but let me see. Look at this. Main's going. Main's just shooting off. Let main go. While main's going, you know, the application might come in and out. I don't care. Grunty's in progress now. Grunty understands what's happening. Boom, boom, boom. Now from here, if you're more advanced, you could add more grunties but what i suggest you do when your code base gets pretty big is i like this flip-flop workflow where any downtime that i have while main is going i can kind of focus with grunty little like fast things boom 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 i don't have time to necessarily create two mains because the amount of mental capacity is you want to really focus all your energy mentally towards main grunty is more of like i have downtime and instead of scrolling on ig or scrolling on tiktok you're actively working and pushing your project forward so hashtag main and grunty made by yours truly corbin let's see if this works so grunty is done i'll be like okay this looks amazing grunty what are we doing grunty let's go to the home page and let's go to the landing page come down here and there you go it added a nice little round rectangle before it i actually do like that a lot that's actually really nice so that looks good i love it i would hit keep all behind me and grunty you are off to your next task and then i'll jump around coming over to main i would be like oh looks like main's finished let's see if main worked now what you need to understand is that especially when doing more complex tasks it might not be a one shot go that's part of the reason why we give main such a higher level model so we can handle this logic but if i click this it works so it did add the custom color but i can request it not to be done but i'm like you know what i want pink make my folder pink apply and it's not working so we're gonna make it work so what i'll do is i'm trying to click here huh it's not working uh when i click this i'm just not getting the ability to change the color of the folder so what i'll do is i'll screenshot and then i'll be like pop up works but when I click, it is not saving or changing color. Also, no custom color option. Enter. And then when that's going, I notice with Grunty, what I'm about to show you right now, if you if you develop, you're going to be like, Corbin, you could have edited that. I know. Okay. <laughs> I know this is extremely simple, but one lead image edit. I'm going to be like, you know what? Let's do lead edit. We don't need to add image. There's enough context. This is a thumbnail platform. The, the user doesn't need to have image edit because it knows through thumbnails it's going to inherently be an edit. So there, look at that. 10 hay bales equals one lead image edit or just one lead edit. I like it. Coming back over to main, it is going still. So let's see. So we're back over here to main. I click this folder, click this. I'm like, you know what? Let's do this. Seems like it's not working still. Let me do a hard reload. Sometimes you want to do that on the front end. So do that. Try again. Click. Doesn't seem like it's working. It maybe it wants me to do this. Okay. So still not working. I'm going to open up the console log here, see if any errors are occurring and look at that, y'all. This is the debug flow. Oh, something seems to be happening. I'm just going to copy all this and act like I have no clue what it means. And then I'm going to paste it here and hit enter. This is the workflow. When you tackle bigger tasks, use main. Smaller tasks, you hit grunty. Let's see main work. So after I let the agent go off for a little bit here, I went ahead and fixed it. Over here, select this color. Nice. This color. Nice. Maybe I want pink. Pink. Now, one thing I want to point out is that if you're running into an error or there seems to be an issue where you are tackling something in the main agent for too long, switch the model. I actually had to do that. For some reason, Composer 1 was just cooking itself. So I switched to GBT5 Codex High, and it was able to get it done in the first shot. There you go. There's Main and Grunty, the best method ever created to optimize your time when developing in this way. So as you already know, these style videos, make sure you leave a like. It's completely free. I'll see you in the next. Main Grunty, Main Grunty. Oh, it's Main. It's Grunty. Backup camera. It's Main. Main Grunty, Main Grunty, Main Grunty type of video. Boom, 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 boom.